Finally! So, so can you tell us about this guy? Familiar. <laughs> um, yeah, so JoJo did that uh, based on the actor that we um, used um, when we did the scene, who did the scene for us was a guy named Wayne T. Carr. And uh, he's an amazing actor, amazing, the kind gentleman. And I told him, I said, look, there's a chance that this doesn't make it in the movie. We are shooting it in my driveway. So, um, <laughs> What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Finally, we could talk about some green lantern -ness. <laughs> Ah, it's about time. Uh, Justice Con, of course, wrapped up today uh, about a couple hours ago, which all went great. I think I'm going to do like some kind of uh, live talk, live stream thing later and kind of talk about it. Audio only, like I've done before. I think I might do that later tonight. So look for that. I'm not sure exactly when I'll do it, but I think I'm going to do that because that sounds like it'd be fun to just kind of talk about Justice Con all three days, kind of go over a, a lot of the stuff. But one of the things that we could take away from that I wanted to talk about in this video course is Wayne T. Carr. That's right. That is our boy. That is our guy. That is the dude that was supposed to play um, John Stewart Green Lantern in Zack Snyder's Justice League uh, and actually shot it. And um, obviously I played the clip right at the beginning. Uh, before I started talking and Zach talks about how, yeah, he just shot it in his driveway, told Wayne that, hey, this might not make it in the film because they um, were shooting in my driveway, for God's sakes. So, yeah, so Wayne T. Carr. Um, and then if you want to look, I mean, you know, he's a he's a theater actor. He uh, Snyder talks about how he met him through Ray. Ray introduced him and he's been part of that Shakespearean like, you know, theater kind of stuff, just like Ray Fisher, as well as Ray Porter. Uh, Harry Lennox also, I think, is in the mix of that, too. So it's just I mean, I'm telling you what Snyder, when it comes to his actors, he casts, even though they're unknown. I mean, you can't when you see them play the character, portray the character, you kind of just go, OK, he's just got an eye. He's got a knack for that whole casting thing. But yeah, if you pull up uh, Wayne T. Carr's IMDb. Well, first off, when you see when you see him, you're like, yeah, yeah, that's John Stewart. Cool, you know, you just you just see it, you just see it. I mean, he's a good looking dude. Looks like he could be a mil have a military background, all that stuff. I'm sure he would have nailed it, um, and everything. You can watch his little reel right here. It's pretty cool. I mean, he's got a short uh, IMDb list right here. You know, only been in a few things. You know, shows. He was in SWAT. He was in uh, you know, Tragedy and Macbeth. He's coming up. Murder number two, number three, I should say. Uh, you know, just been in a few things. Nothing but major. And it was, you know, like apparently he's also a teacher. Um, he teaches uh, acting and all that. So he, a lot of people have been finding out about him on social media. Uh, he's on Facebook. He's on, uh, oops, he's on Twitter now. Obviously, we saw that earlier this week. The first tweet he put was the, 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 the hero shot from Zack Snyder's Justice League. And he just posted uh, Restore the Snyderverse because why not? They restore the Snyderverse. Guess what? He becomes our John Stewart Green Lantern, which that'd be pretty sweet. But yeah, and then like somebody tweeted out too, like a student of his said, this is my teacher. He, he deserves it. He's a great guy. I mean, he seems like a great guy. Uh, Zach was very much um, positive about him. Um, and I'm sure... You know, with Ray, there's pictures when when it was when it was kind <laughs> when it kind of came out that you know, hey, it's Wayne T. Carr, which it was like, uh oh, you know, because I know I did a lot, I did some teasing. I don't think I did like some cryptic tweeting because I thought it was going to be revealed earlier. So I was kind of like, all right, let's just like have some fun and let's uh, let's put some cryptic tweets out there. I put you know, Bruce Wayne, old Bruce Wayne, drinking tea in a car, you know, Wayne T. Carr, and then. I did some gifts too, or something like that. You know, it's just all that. That's the only thing that, <laughs> that's the one thing that makes Twitter fun, guys. Okay. Other than that, it's a cesspool. Oh, it's a war zone now. But um, yeah, it was just, and then all of a sudden it, 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 things got delayed. And I mean, when it comes to the, was there footage shot? Yes, there was. Um, I know there was, see, there was information that came out. And I think it was because Harry Lennox uh, got a little, I think, or it, it, what he said, because the information that was coming out that said, that Harry Lennox shot with the Green Lantern, like with whoever the actor was for Green Lantern on the same day. That's not the case. Obviously, we can confirm that now. They, they were both shot, of course, in the driveway, but on different times. So, yeah, a lot. there's information. I think it was being spun to the fact that, oh, Martian Manhunter and John Stewart Green Lantern were supposed to be in the scene. 
no guys, no, no, no. And then of course, I mean, there was information that came out before that when I told you guys like, no, it's not Trevante Rhodes. Was he on the table? Maybe. I'm sure they had a short list of, of actors on the table. And I'm, Trevante Rhodes was my choice for John Stewart Green Lantern. I was like, when I was thinking about who, uh, he was uh, at the top of the list. But uh, there was a lot of people that were saying like, you know, there were people that were certain. Remember there was an exclusive that was saying that, uh, oh yeah. Toronto Rhodes is Zack Snyder's Justice League, Green Lantern, and he shot the footage and blah blah blah. See, this is why you always got to question that stuff, guys. That's why, and this is this is why I love the fact that I can literally ask people, and I know one hundred percent I'm going to get the right answer. I can verify: is this true? Is this true? Is this true? And then it's just, and then it's just funny because sometimes the arrogance that could be behind these scoops, you're like, nope, nope, I'm, I'm, I'm right, man. I'm fucking right. And it's just kind of funny because I go, no, no you're not. <laughs> I just, I know you're not. You know, you're, I mean, I mean, maybe you think, I don't know. It's just, that's why you always got to question it, man. There's nothing wrong with questioning scoops. I mean, even if I were to say something, there's been times over the years where I've, I've said some stuff about what's happening and it's like, how can I prove it to you? I can't, you know, I can't, I guess we'll just see what happens. But uh, it was just kind of funny how there's a lot of people that were there's not a lot of people, but there was quite a few people that were kind of going, oh, yeah, it's Trevante Rhodes, man. It's Trevante Rhodes. And it's like, yeah, no, it's not. And what's great about that, because one of the things that Snyder is so good at, like I talked about, when it comes to casting, he just has a knack. He has an eye for, hey, I see the character when I watch clip. I'm like, hmm, yeah, this is going to work. He even says it. Uh, during uh, the panel yesterday, he talked about that, how he saw some clips and everything. Went, yeah, it's good. Um, it's the fact that, you know, look at the cast. I mean, Ben Affleck was, if you look at the, the cast, the, the main cast of Justice League, Ben Affleck was like the pretty much the movie star of that whole cast, you know? And then the uh, others were kind of rare, re relatively unknown when they got cast. I mean, who knew who Henry Cavill was? Nobody. I mean, everybody was calling Henry, Henry Cavill. I did. Uh, you know, and then you got Jason Momoa. He was not really well known. Gal Gadot was barely on, barely known. Ezra Miller, Ray Fisher, you know, I mean, they're not really like up there, but now they're getting up there. Now Momoa and Gadot are like movie stars. They're up there. Now they're big names. You know, a lot of people know who, who these people are now. I mean, Ezra Miller is in another franchise. Ray Fisher is known just because of, you know, of, of him just speaking the, the good word out there and us standing by him. Uh, so, you know, they're all pretty much like uh, out there now. So that's what's uh, very interesting. So the fact of the matter is, is like, you can't be, I mean, first off, don't, don't be upset. That, like, Oh no, man, I was hoping he'd have somebody else for green lantern or blah, blah, blah. You know, they, they do that. I mean, same thing with Ray Porter. Can you now imagine a different voice coming out of dark side besides Ray Porter's voice? I don't think so. He is dark side. And it sucks because when they were talking about new gods, when that was on the table at one point, <laughs> um, Everybody's going, oh, should we Ray Porter? Should we Ray Porter? And I'm like, you know what? I 100% would love that. But you already know the studio is going to be like, nah, we got to get like a name. They got Josh Brolin over there. They got Josh Brolin. Boo. Now it's like, it, stop trying to get the name. I mean, if the name can bring a good performance, fine. And Brolin did as Thanos. He did. He knocked it out. But the fact of the matter is, is like, this is not, this would not be the situation that it was over there for the Avengers when we saw, you know, when we saw Thanos, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it was a different, it was a totally different actor, totally different. I mean, his, he was a lot more maroon, wasn't he? Um, no, but uh, it's a totally different situation because now we full on dialogue, movement, all this stuff. So now moving forward, it's like, hey, you're going to do a dark side. Yeah, you got to put Ray Porter in there. Come on. You got to. The guy, the guy, the fact that I watched it again last night and, and when you just listen to that voice I and mean, you just go, yeah, there's not much. That, I mean, they added a little more uh, to it just to feel like you feel it so you can feel it in your taint. But, uh, you know, but still, like I would say about, you know, 85 percent is just full, full on Ray Porter, maybe even more. I don't know. I mean, you've heard him. You know, I have him as uh, my little intro. Man, it got dark quick <laughs> when I started filming this, started filming this uh, right when the sun was like about to just set right there so sorry that it got a little dark in here guys just getting a little romantic that's all anyway so i just wanted to talk about that and like i said i'll probably do like some kind of live talk thing later audio only talk to you guys we'll talk about some justice con because man did that just go out i mean that as much as there was i mean it went it was solid so you know congratulations to uh the nerd queens and wonder mag man they really just pulled that thing off i mean talk about upping the game 
from last year upping the game, you know, totally, totally awesome. And it's glad I was a part of it. So yeah, we'll talk more about that. Like I said, I'll do that later. Uh, I think probably about, it's about seven fifteen. So I might do it, you know, I do it about nine 30, my time, maybe nine. We'll see what happens. I got to like make some dinner. I'll probably do it like nine 30 or something like that. I'm just going to talk for an hour. I mean, I do have to work tomorrow. <laughs> I got that day chat time thing going on, but uh, anyways, guys, so Wayne T car, hopefully we get to see more of them. I'm glad. Um, I'm actually, I've, I've, I've actually reached out to him. So hopefully maybe we can have a conversation with each other. I would love to talk to the guy, talk about the experience and then just talk about, you know, just, I always like to get to know these people, you know, like anybody that we don't really know who is like, all right, let's get to know, let's go back. We worry, you know, where did you grow up? when did you get the acting bug? I'm always uh, curious to see how you got to this point right here. So hopefully we get to talk to, uh, to Wayne uh, pretty soon. So we'll see what I, now that it's official, it came from the horse's mouth. So I just want to see that image because there is, there's going to, there is footage. I mean, obviously there's footage. So it's like, what does he actually look like? Because not the mock-up and now it's just a mock-up. It's not fully what he's doing. And, and of course, Snyder talked about, yes, it is a full CGI costume because they didn't make one. Uh, see, that was another thing too. There's other information that said one of the black suits behind him and Jason Momoa and that picture from a long time ago, that's a great lantern suit. And it's like, no, it's not, you know, it's like, it's not quite that. I mean, that's why you just sometimes, well, sometimes, sometimes people just are throwing darts out there, guys. These, uh, especially when it comes to scooping, they just throwing darts. Maybe are they are they back engineer? That's 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 one of the techniques when it comes to that. See, I can go on forever. Maybe we'll talk about this later on. But yeah, it's like a, it's almost like a back engineering. Like, oh, okay, that's how I'm going to scoop this because I think so. I did my I did my uh, research, and then nope, sorry, wrong. Anyways, guys, so. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to become a member, hit the join button. If you want to join the Patreon to help out the pirate ship, that always helps. You know, get some early access to things and whatnot. Uh, join the Patreon. And then, of course, merchandise down below, guys. All right. Wayne T. Carr. There you go. That's our guy. All right, guys. Talk to you later.